when would you play a banjo? Well, first I get up and play the banjo. Then I think, oh, I better go to the bathroom. Then I resume playing the banjo. No, that's a joke. Um, well, I do it in the shows because if you're like me, you can play any bluegrass instrument to some extent, maybe even to a good extent. And then you look at who's in the band this week and you say, what should I play? But lately I've been doing a lot of banjo because this thing you can control what's happening uh, a lot easier than if you're on a guitar. Guitars are mellow. And if we're playing along, if I give you that chord, everybody in the band knows it's time to go, which is the four chord. And if I go, then they know it's time to go five. I can give out signals, and this thing makes the biggest racket of, of any of the instruments that we play. If we were an electric band, it'd be who turned their knob up the farthest. But there's a little doubt in the case of the banjo that if the banjo player is really running the band, then it's, uh, it's good because they can really get their message across. And I played a little bit with the Osborne brothers back in the 60s, and Sonny was the guy who really was the brains of the band and he would be on that banjo and if I was playing up there with them I knew exactly what was going to happen next because it, the banjo guy was the boss and he could do it so I don't mind being the boss on the banjo. <laughs>